So the first pump I got is also from Lazine, and it's kind of a mini floor pump called the Micro Floor Drive HV for high volume. Now I know this really is not the best pump for road bikes. I bought this mainly for mountain biking and touring, but it looked really cool. The next pump that I got is from Crank Brothers, the Click HP or high pressure, and then this is the HP CO2. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but you can apparently use a CO2 cartridge with that pump somehow as well. So we'll figure that one out together. And the final one I got is a simpler Crank Brothers, also from the Click series, so I hope these Click pumps are good. This is the HV, the high volume, and it's a simpler, slightly smaller version of from that Click lineup. Nice strong Velcro strap. All right, so it's very light, very impressive. I think this probably weighs as much as this. Okay, this threads in. That's very secure. This looks like a reversible head. Schrader Presta. I guess I need to flip it over because I'm Presta. There we go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Is that in focus? Hopefully it's in focus. I can't flip down floor peg. So this is interesting. Oh wow, that's that's pretty nice. Okay, so that's the design. There is a pretty big difference. Look at this. This is just plastic with a, I'd say kind of a average quality Velcro strap with a plastic buckle. This one, can, it feels like a slightly higher quality plastic. It's actually a little bendier, which I think is good. Um, it also has this uh, rubber gasket in here, which is good. And then this Velcro strap has a rubber lining, which is kind of cool, where it says Lazine. And then it's got this aluminum buckle, which, you know, could just be for show, but just shows. Lazine is, uh, they really do a nice job with design. Maybe that's why Lazine rhymes with design. Never thought of that. Anyway, and look, they got all these awards. Yay! Okay, so this is the Click HP CO2. Again, high pressure with a CO2 cartridge option. And we'll see if we can figure that out. Okay. And this looks like a good strong Velcro, give them that. All right, so. They are different, look at that. They are different. Okay, so this is the CO2. You can see it's taller, but it's hard to tell, but it's a little skinnier. You can see with my fingers, it's taller and skinnier, shorter and fatter. This is the high volume, and this is the high pressure with the CO2. So the handle pivots, that's pretty nice, has a nice solid feel. It moves very easily. Makes pressure very quickly, that's cool. Now it looks like the hose is in here. How do you get, oh, okay, just pulls out, that's cool. And then it's supposed to click on, that's why they call these the click, it's supposed to be magnetic. 
So, uh, yeah, it'd be this end, right? Oh, okay. Yep, that's pretty cool. Snaps on nice and easily. And then it also has the reversible Presta Schrader head. So, the hose stores in the handle, close the handle, locks in the hose, and yeah, if you close it just right, it, it locks it closed. So that's pretty cool. It does rattle a little bit here. I'm going to hold it close to my mic. Hear that? So, it's not perfect, but it is very nice. I, I am really impressed with the design. These are all just beautifully designed pieces of, of engineering. I mean, God, look how cool they look. Okay, so this is the same thing. Handle turns, hose is in there. Got a longer hose. Looks like it might be a slightly longer hose, which is nice. I like the longer hose. And then what is the CO2 thing? Oh, this unscrews. Okay. This unscrews to reveal. Oh, okay. So that is actually a CO2 inflator. So the Crank Brothers CO2 option is a CO2 inflator in the end of the pump. So it's stored in the pump, but it's not really integrated into the pump. And then also, it does not actually store a cartridge. Go ahead and throw them on the scale. We will start with the big guy. Although it's really, it's beautifully light. This really is a very cool pump. 202 grams, 202 for the Lausanne. The smaller of the Crank Brothers, 112, so very light, 112 for the Crank Brothers high volume. The Crank Brothers high pressure CO2, 135 grams, 134, 135. So 134, 135 on the HP CO2. As you can see, I've popped out the little foot rest. Okay, so we've got the Micro Floor Drive HV. I've hooked it up. It's nice, it threads on to the valve stem. It's got the little foot rest, which I folded out, and I'm gonna time myself. Okay, I've got the stopwatch. I just started it, and here I go. Do, do, do. Okay. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Okay, well, so this is this is cool. It's not getting that difficult to pump. I mean, I'm pushing hard, but it's I don't feel like it's fighting me. It's heating up a tiny bit, but not really. So that's very impressive. Okay, I'm pushing pretty hard now. And that that's a nice hard tire, so I'm gonna stop it. A minute 20. And I'm going to catch my breath because that was a little bit of a workout, but a minute 20 and that was actually really easy. So I'm going to let all the air out. Ready? Okay, so that is threaded on and then this is the magnetic click system which is pretty cool. I like that. And go. So two minutes. So minute 20 on the first one, two minutes on this one. Uh, again, the pump feels good. I'm gonna, I like the click, that's cool. This is all very cool, by the way. This hose and the magnetic click, that is a cool feature. Here we go. Okay. Hear the click? Get my mic close. That's the click, that's the magnetic click. All right, so in my hand, this is a much smaller pump with a shorter hose, which gives me a little bit less room to work. But that is okay. Reset my stopwatch and go. Okay, shorter stroke. 
It's a shorter stroke, but again, I feel like it's moving more air because it is. And it, I don't know, it's just like psychologically it's better for some reason. I like that I can hold the handle with a T and not worry about my knuckles. That's a nice feature. Some. Okay, that's two minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and top off this tire with the high pressure version of the Crank Brothers pump. Oh, see, yeah, that's amazing. So now, this isn't that hard to press. So it was really hard with the high volume pump, but now with the high pressure pump, I'm able to top it up without a t I mean, I'm still squeezing it pretty hard, but big difference. And yeah, now we're getting up to really where the tire needs to be. This is a great little pump. Oh yeah, there we go. That is, that is a hard tire right there. Okay, this is a great pump. Cool, well that was a lot of fun. Um, got a little bit of extra exercise. Always good for cyclists to get some upper body exercise. Just to review, we looked at the two different Crank Brothers click pumps, the high pressure and the high volume. Another cool feature I didn't show you guys, the click open close for the inflation hose. That's another nice detail. So again, the design of both of all three of these pumps is really just absolutely beautiful. I mean, you know, this, this even feels good. Um, Feels good, sounds good. Look, look at me, I can't stop playing with it. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the high volume, thicker, shorter. We've got the high pressure, which again, with the optional CO2, which is just an inflator that you use separately. So you have to carry your CO2 cartridge and then it screws into here. So you have a backup inflator, which is always good. And then this was the Lazine Micro Floor Drive HV, high volume. It's a, basically a mini floor pump. And again, also beautifully made. It looks very nice with this high polish aluminum body. It's very lightweight. And uh, I found it very easy to use. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you found this informative and entertaining. It's a beautiful day. I am going to clean up and go for a ride. So should you.